still here at NAB 2022, and I'm here with Hans von Zuffen. Okay, good. <laughs> I said it right. And he's going to uh, tell us about a really cool product that he's been putting together, and that is... Well, we have two actually, and one of them is the Timio ST Extreme. That's this box here. Um, it's a hardware processor based on everything that Stereo Tool has. So it has all the features of Stereo Tool, the declipper, the lossifier which repairs lossy audio, uh, the composite clipper that is that's giving you extreme loudness, micro MPX encoding, basically everything that we normally offer. Uh, RDS encoding, obviously. Um, it comes with a nice and hopefully easy to use HTML5 interface, which we are demonstrating here. Um, what we try to do is make things easy for users by only showing the things that a normal user really needs. So in this specific case, for example, we are on the declipper page and there are only two settings. If people are used to Stereo Tool, they are used to seeing lots of settings. Uh, that's no longer the case. You can still access them if you really need to, but by default, they're invisible. Um, aside from this, we also have a new interface in Stereo Tool itself, um, which is also uh, simplified in the same way. Um, so we try to make everything simple, because that was the, yeah, the thing that we heard back from people that Stereo Tool was difficult to set up. Well, it shouldn't be anymore. Um, one other thing that we can show you here is that Stereotool is also running very nicely on a Raspberry Pi 4, this one. And we can open the same web interface for the Pi 4 and you can control everything from here. It's a bit less smooth, the interface, because it runs on the Pi 4, but everything works, basically. All right, so you also showed me earlier that it's also running on a tablet. Yes. So can it run on, on iOS, or is it just Android, or...? It runs in a browser, so you should be able to run it on basically whatever. any modern phone, tablet, PC, Mac, uh, Pi, whatever you want. You can just open the interface in your web browser. That's cool. That's it. Excellent. Well, thank you again.